In this presentation, I'll be showing you how to recolor objects in Photoshop using adjustment layers and a color layer. The first thing we must do is make the selection. We need to select what we want to change the color of. We have a multitude of tools that we can use to do that. I'm going to be using the magic wand primarily. So let's take a look at my settings. All right, we need to add to that selection. So I'm going to hold down my shift key as my modifier to pick up some of these other areas. If I need to, I can go ahead and zoom in on this, making it easier for me to make those selections. And all right, go back to my magic wand tool, make these other selections. I'm going to increase my tolerance so that I pick up some more items. We're getting there. And we'll then switch to my rectangular marquee, still holding down my shift key so that I add to my selection. Can also use the lasso if I wanted to. A couple little pixels there remaining. All right, not perfect, but pretty close. All right, once I have my selection, I'm going to then go ahead and save this selection so that I can always retrieve it since I spent a little bit of time doing that. I'm going to go up to Select, Save Selection, give it a name, and I'm just going to call it Hat, and say OK. The advantage of that is if at any time I have that selection gone, deselected, and I need to get it back, I can go to Load Selection choose the selection that I want to load, say OK, and it brings it right back. All right, the next thing I need to do is remove the color from that layer. So I need to desaturate, but I don't want to do it in a permanent kind of way. So I'm going to use an adjustment layer to do that. With my selection made, I'm going to go to my adjustment layer icon at the bottom of my layers panel, click it, and pick the hue saturation adjustment layer. From there, I am going to take the saturation control or slider and move it all the way left, removing the color, leaving just gray, black, and whites. You can see a little bit where I did not get all my pixels, so I would want to go back and clean that up before doing this, but we'll leave it as it is for this demonstration. So that would then remove the color. I am left with my highlights, I'm left with some shadows, and I'm left with midtones. And the advantage of doing with the saturation uh, adjustment layer is that if at any time I want the original back, I simply can delete that layer or make it invisible, and I've not permanently destroyed that image. The next thing I need to do is replace the color. The way I'm going to do that is use a paint tool, and I want to paint only in this one area. So if I create a new layer. I need to make that new layer a color layer and I then need to reselect my selection. It is called hat and I've reselected that. What that does for me is in essence mask off. It prevents me from painting outside my selection area. I need to pick a new color. Say that's the color I want. I need to pick some kind of paint tool. The paintbrush will be fine. I can pick any size brush that I want. Bigger is better because I don't have to worry about going outside the lines. So then I just go through and paint back and forth, making sure I get all the areas. And notice that this color now has highlights, it has the shadows, and it has the midtones. If I did not do this using a color layer and instead use the normal layer, it's going to come out like that, not very realistic looking. So make sure that you have chosen color as the layer type. And so if we go back and look at this image, let's zoom back just a little bit, put it all into the screen. Not bad looking. And then of course you would save it and do whatever else you need to do to the image. That concludes on how to recolor an object using an adjustment layer.